KD Sharma has experienced firsthand the problems faced by professional women while managing professional and personal responsibilities, especially if they have to take care of kids. She resolves to change this by making women more aware and simplifying the process of getting healthier, and that drives the everyday mission of Half Life to Health to make health and fitness accessible to every woman out there. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, and both the initial presentations were amazing. I have learned a lot. Um, yeah, I I just wanted to tell you that if you can understand more about your body, you can live a fulfilling life. And what I say with respect to fulfilling life is like, if you have a power to dream about something, then your body should support it. So if if there is a power, dream coming to your mind, then you should have the right energy and right capacity inside your body to achieve those dreams. And that's that's how you are going to live a fulfilling life. Let's talk about the trajectory over years. You know, when we are young, we all are super energetic and we have a lot of energy to do different things. We never uh, feel any limit limitation with respect to our body. But as we age, you know, we enter uh, 20 to 30 or we turn 40, 50, there is a natural, pro uh, there is a natural process of aging. So people who are much more aware about their body and they are taking all the right steps to reduce the impact of aging because aging is a natural process they can live a much active life even at 60s 70s and 80s and if you are not understanding the clues of your body you are not prioritizing your health first there are chances that you will see a steep decline in your uh, physical and mental abilities as well and people who are already suffering at the age of 20, 25 with hormonal issues, with uh, diabetes, hypertension, stress, the, the aging will be very steep. And, uh, you know, uh, it might be that at the age of 60, you are not able to do your own stuff yourself. You need, you need to be dependent on someone. So it is very, very important for us to first understand how our body is functioning and then take the right steps to reduce the impact of aging. Okay, a very simple example, and this I always ask, like people say like, I, I am putting on weight, and I always tell them, you know, gaining additional weight is not an issue. It is a symptom that there is something wrong going inside your body. So if someone is working, you know, eating the same thing or following the same uh, schedule, and suddenly the person is putting two kgs in, uh, in like last three months, it itself is a symptom that there is something going wrong inside the body. So weight gain is not an issue. It's a symptom that there is something bigger going inside the body and it has to be attended. So what will happen to your organs when you are in an ideal weight? Your organs, your body is designed to carry an ideal weight of say like 50 kgs. And if the body is within that ideal range, you will feel energetic, your body will respond well, and you will see a lot uh, you can do a lot more. But imagine if you have put on additional weight, you have put on like in place of uh, 50 kgs, you are 60, 70, 75 now. What will happen? It will put a lot of weight on your body and all your organs are working more. They are aging at a faster rate. It is very, very important for us to mindful with respect to our weight and understand our body. So in this presentation, uh, it, it's a limited time. We'll talk try to touch upon the key issues and how we can address them. So let's talk about some internal factors. There are a lot of facts, external factors in today's world. We are exposed to a lot more chemicals. Uh, we are exposed, the water and air is polluted. Uh, there is a lot of adulteration in the items which we are consuming. We are exposed to a lot of processed items. So there are a lot of factors which are outside our uh, hands. Uh, another thing is people are working uh, in a very stressful situation. Our parents have never worked in the kind of stress uh, which current generation is going through. So there are a lot of other things which are outside our hands, but there are few things which are very much in our hands. And I really like to talk about those things uh, today. So when I talk about internal factors, we need to understand that our hormones are changing. You know, when we are young, we are at 20, 30, the energy levels are high because our body has those hormones which basically work like a signaling system inside your body. Like in a, 
railway uh, when we have a railway system there is a center control room where all the trains will get signals and they will move from one station to another and everything is controlled by a control room in the same way in our body we have hypothalamus which sits right here uh, between our eyes and that hypothalamus is the one who is controlling all the hormones inside our body so there is an impact of hormones as we age the other thing is muscle loss as we moving as we are getting older uh, we are losing our muscle uh, mass and that's why we see uh, at 20 30 you are pretty straight you have a lot of energy but eventually when you enter like 40 45 you see that your structure is uh, getting weaker and you are unable to hold even your posture right so there is a of, there, there is a process of losing muscle based on your age the other thing is there is a lot of distraction out there. There are a lot of noise, noise with respect to advertisement, noise with respect to uh, work, noise with respect to a lot of people around you. And that's why you are unable to understand your signals well, right? So when we eat something, there is a signal generated from our uh, tummy, again, in form of a hormone. And it sends a signal to our mind that, hey, you are full, you need to stop now. But when we watch, when we eat and watch television, when we talk on mobile, when we are working and watching, when we are working and eating, then then those signals are getting lost. And that's why most of the people are overeating these days. So let's uh, just wanted to show this diagram to you so you will understand how rapidly our hormones will change uh, with age. So a very important hormone is human growth hormone and between 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 the levels are pretty high and as we move forward all those hormones are going down. So human growth hormones is basically responsible for our overall growth for the repair of our muscles and then they, when there is a steep decline in these hormones we see how our muscles are getting loose, how our uh, tummy is coming out, the, the, the firmness of our skin is getting uh, reduced. The another important hormone, especially for women, is uh, estrogen. So when we are young, our estrogen levels are very high. But after 40, what will happen? Women go through this uh, phase of speedy aging, which is called perimenopause. So before menopause, where when the periods will totally stop, there is a phase of almost six to seven years where, where women go through a phase of perimenopause where there is severe decline in their uh, reproductive hormones and when their reproductive hormones are severely declining it is it is not just uh, that the ovaries are getting retired estrogen has receptor throughout the body so even they experience a lot of symptoms during this time time so they experience mood swings they experience uh, mind fog they experience joint pain they experience hot flashes so there are almost 36 different kind of symptoms which a women experience during their transition from reproductive age to a place where their reproductive age will be over and they will not get their periods anymore so that phase itself is six to seven years and it's called perimenopause so your body is changing all your hormones are changing and that's why you are experiencing that the body is not the same and uh, this is a simple uh, graph um, you know Utah has already talked about menstrual cycle we all need to be educated with respect to our hormones how our hormones are working in our menstrual cycle because if if you are healthy then your menstrual cycle is the first thing uh, which will show that so if you are healthy, you should not get severe cramps uh, in your uh, during your periods. Uh, it should be very comfortable phase, a little bit discomfort, but very comfortable phase where you can do all your daily work on as it is, like without any um, big change. But in case you have severe cramps, you are having a lot of mood swings, the pain is uh, too much, the bleeding is too much. All this is uh, all these are the signs that you are suffering from some kind of imbalance because your menstrual cycle is with respect to your hormones your hormones goes up and down during this cycle and it is it is a sign for you to probably go and check uh, get your hormones checked and see if there is any deficiencies most of the time women suffer deficiencies like iron calcium magnesium vitamin d is getting so common 95% of the people are vitamin D deficient, which almost act 
like a hormone inside your body so please go and get those things checked uh super uncomfortable periods are not normal we really need to talk about it and that's why we first we need to talk about it and second we need to look out for solution so please don't sit with uh, really uncomfortable periods that's not normal uh, surely you might be experiencing you might be suffering from some kind of deficiency let's talk about loss of muscle mass so we all know as we age the muscle mass is going down and that's why the not just our our face our whole body will lose muscles and even with the same um weight you will see that your body is changing and the uh, body shape is changing so you know it, it is very very common where we see how firm our body is at the starting but as you age the same hand the same weight will will uh, you know the skin will become loose and we need to work because all these muscles are important for our body and you can you can achieve a good level of muscle mass by working on your body by doing exercises by engaging your muscles you can retain your muscle mass so with respect to uh, when when i talk about muscle mass is all uh, you know same for uh, ma male and female but let's talk about the danger for women so women go through this phase of pregnancy and what will happen pregnancy uh, when we get pregnant between our legs the muscles uh, which are connecting between our legs is called pelvic floor muscles and when the baby is there there is a lot of strain on those pelvic floor muscles and what will happen if there is not proper recovery our women has not worked on their pelvic floor recovery then what will happen eventually these muscles will be so weak that they are unable to hold the organs over there and at the age of 40 45 many women experiencing pelvic floor prolapse where the organs are not getting supported by the muscle itself and i think it is a bigger big big miss because every woman after pregnancy should go through post recovery exercises where basically what we help them is if there are the the pelvic floor is like this and it is getting stretched we try to help them in bringing these muscles together and make them strong so a lot of women are suffering in silence with respect to their pelvic floor muscles there there is no physician because a gynec is not expert enough to tell them how to strengthen their pelvic floor muscles and if you are at a age of 40 45 it's already very late you you can improve it but it's already very late to strengthen those muscles this recovery should happen just post pregnancy post delivery so that they can strengthen their muscles and have a good quality of life moving forward okay so here are some checks and i'm sure uh, you can try them later but uh, this is just a eye opener that what is your fitness level and what is your muscle mass so a simple test for your muscle mass is a plank so please take this test please uh, with respect to this uh, sheet please check that where are you with respect to your muscle mass is it poor is it good is it average so this is a simple test i think uh, I, th this is like a ball park figure do give it a check and work towards increasing your muscle mass so that you can get into a very good or excellent uh, space there is also a very good uh, test for posture correction most of the people these days because the muscle mass is low and they will stand like this and they will stand like this or they will bend in front they are unable to stand properly so this is a very good test for your posture correction so stand next to the wall try to touch your head on the wall your shoulder your butt and your feet and try to look straight in if you can look straight that is fine but in case if you can look straight that is fine but if you are looking up and you are seeing the ceiling that means your posture is not correct so these are the two tests which i really want you to take and understand you where where are you with respect to your fitness level so most of the people i am sure you will take the test you will realize okay i am here how to improve like how to start um so the key thing here is first you need to have the right mindset that i need to make these changes into my life i want to move forward this is important your health is a one in your life rest everything is zero if your health is not there i'm sure even if you have a lot of money in your 
account even you have like beautiful cars you cannot enjoy it if you are suffering from some kind of illness so i think getting into that mindset that the health is one and rest everything will build over it is the first step so get into the right mindset help getting a coach really helps so i i i run marathon i run long distance and i worked along with the coaches and guidance and that really helps me and half life to health uh, which is my company as a platform we do provide a lot of coaching to um women for postpartum recovery we provide a lot of coaching to people out there like uh, women who wants to get fit and have kids and have limited time so getting a coach is very very important to get into a right mindset learn from your peers we have conducted so many times you know five k runs just like where people can work together take sustainable steps so when when the motivation is low you cannot do big things right when the motivation is high you can do hard things so always start with something which is very very sustainable small thing every day so if you want to lose weight try to make a small modification if you want to get fitter probably want to run a marathon try with like 1 km 2 km and just make it sustainable and slowly take it forward so yeah thank you thank you very much